Mm. Scotch eggs. AKA the narcissist eggs. They are really delicious. By the way, today is the 14th, so I remembered that this used to be a special friend of mine's favorite meal. She loved it when I cooked it for her. <laughs> Those ones, I remember, I caught, uh, I caught her with a pair of size 10 Timberland boots in her crib. With a straight face, she looked at me and she said, they are for killing roaches. Which was weird because her, her crib was really clean. Said it's okay. So later on, she found a pair of, til of, of stilettos in my crib. <laughs> she asked me whose high heels are those. I looked at her and with a straight face, I said, I'm five foot seven and I need to change these light bulbs. <laughs> hmm. Hello everyone. Welcome to Michael Peebles Therapy. Okay, scotch eggs have their origins in North India where they translate to a narcissist's eggs. And I was like, how did these guys know me on a personal level, even before I was born? Anyway, in order to make them, <laughs> you require the following. This is half a pound of ground beef. These are fresh eggs. These are boiled eggs, though I removed the, 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 uh, the shells. Um, you have to remove the shells. I remember in college, there was a buddy of mine um, who made them, and then he forgot to remove the, the shells. That's because he was told. <laughs> and funny enough, nobody noticed. Until like two bites in, because we were all stoned. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so I remember we were like, hey, are these supposed to be uh, crunchy on the inside? And then someone right there said, I don't think so. <laughs> anyway, uh, that can also be a great anti drug PSA. Hey kids, don't do drugs. Or you might end up eating a whole lot of eggshells. They are not good on their way in, and definitely not good on their way out. <laughs> Anyway, Chris, if you're watching this, you have to peel the shells, man. Anyway, this is, uh, I, re I just grated uh, onions, red onions. This is coriander. I chopped them finely. This is salt. This is mixed spices, cumin, nutmeg. Uh, this is garam masala, cayenne. And this is a pea flour, just like uh, three tablespoons. This is some chicken sausage. I like the flavor of chicken uh, mixed with beef. And this is crushed, uh, gin uh, sorry, crushed garlic. Okay, as you can see, the first thing I'm doing is Removing the sausage from this uh, natural casing just by pushing it out like that. I usually cut them into pairs and then I push them out like that. It's so simple, right? Okay, now do this for the rest of the sausages. Now, as you can see, we have milked all the sausage. There's no other way of calling it. It's milking the sausage out of the shell or the natural casing. Now put your coriander in there. Your minced beef. Was that parsley coriander? Because I think it was parsley. Then salt it. Then a teaspoon each. Teaspoon of cumin. You know, the sausage already has flavor, but me, I'm about maximum flavor, right? <laughs> teaspoon of garam masala. Actually, I made that myself. And a teaspoon of cayenne. We want some heat in there. Then uh, your garlic crushed garlic then this is the onion I just grated it so it has a lot of juice remove all your juice from in there and don't throw it away by the way that can really make a nice uh, soup so milk all the onion the onion juice <laughs> I'm sure this is the first time you're hearing about onion juice right and throw your onions in that and then you simply mix this up together as you can see everything is well combined the sausage the beef the spices you know now come to your dredge here this is simply uh, the coating salt it nicely and then add some cayenne about a, te a teaspoon in there for some heat then some garam masala for some spice and some of this allspice just put the whole packet in there. This is your favorite brand. Now you see this dredge will have a lot of flavor. The next step is really simple. Once everything is mixed together, grab some of this mixture, put it down like that. Put it on a clinging film though. Clinging film makes it so simple. Set an egg on top and simply work it around the egg like that. You can feel it in your hands. And then wet your hands to be able to handle it properly. Then you simply work it around the egg. 
See that perfect little scotch egg. Okay, now once they have all been wrapped like that, then you crack some eggs and then you whisk them and then it's simply dry, wet, dry. You know that style, right? Now it's simply dry, wet, dry and then into the frying pan. So as you can see, you roll it around the flour, dry, then into the egg wash, wet, like that, and then back into the dry, like that, just like that one. Okay, the next step is obviously dropping them into some hot oil, like that, and then waiting for them to brown, you know. After about 10 minutes in the heat, constantly flipping, you know, these are ready. Off with the gas. Drain them of excess oil. And let's test this. Let's test one out. For scientific purposes, of course. <laughs> Look at how that, that came out. Although my yolks are a little a little white. Let's test this out. <laughs> Guys, you need to go try this recipe. It's insane. Mmm. Mmm. You get the egg, the sausage, the, the spices. Really delicious. Mm. So, thank you so much for watching. Go try this recipe at home, and I'll see you on the next vlog. Later.